Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again with another video. Today we're going to do something a little differently. I'm sporting my bag of the day which is the badge field tote in the ivory color block color and I am going to try to fix the magnet on this bag to make it a little stronger. Although I will tell you that while I had this bag on my shelf, I kept it closed and I have been carrying this all day on my shoulder with this chain strap and I can link the chain strap below and it does not pop open. And in fact, when I open it, I can easily get it to snap back. I have to see it to do it, but it just clips right back together because I have trained it to stay close. So I don't think you necessarily need to make the magnet stronger, but I did order this item and I thought I would give it a shot because it wouldn't hurt anything to have it be a little bit stronger. One thing I have heard about this type of magnet is that they are extremely strong and that they are also very fragile. Already it's bigger than I thought it would be, the other thing is, is with these magnets, you have to be careful if you have anything metal inside of you because they are so strong, they can pull that metal out of you, which is scary. But you're supposed to take a compass to it and determine which side is which. I may just sort of just test it and see what happens. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna take this and see if I can get the magnet to stick to it. Yes, I can. Stuck right away. So I got it right. Now, what it's supposed to do is by sticking it to this magnet, it's supposed to make it stronger. And since the magnet I'm sticking it to isn't super strong, I am able to pull this off without too much difficulty. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do it on the other side two. So I didn't end up having to use a compass. I just got the magnet close enough to the side that it told me on its own. So since that side works on the left side or your right side of the bag, I assume that this other side will work for this side and it does. You're supposed to match north with north and south with south. And it's my understanding that by doing this, you're going to re-magnetize these magnets or strengthen the magnetism of the magnets because I am opposing them with a magnet that is stronger than they are. And I can really feel it. It definitely is stronger than the magnet it is going up against. So that's the first round. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to put this back in the box because I'm a little nervous about it sticking to other things. And I'm just gonna see if these two magnets will find each other a little easier now that I've done that. Maybe slightly, let me see about pulling them apart. Oh. It seems about the same to me. It seems like this magnet will stick to both sides. It resists it. It resists it when I'm going like this, but on the side, it will stick to this side as well as to this side. And it seems like they would be different. Well, I don't think I'm doing myself any favors here. I don't think that helped one bit. If anything, it doesn't seem as if it's quite as good. Maybe I do need to do the north to north and the south to south. I did end up using one side of the magnet for your right and a different side of the magnet for your left. So let's see if that helps. Man, 
I may have made it worse. I mean, it'll still stay closed, but it's not any stronger at all. This is very frustrating. Ugh. I'm gonna pause the video and see if I can figure something out. Okay, I don't think I've made it worse, but I do have a little compass here and I'm gonna hold it up like this and see if I can figure this out. So this is the south side because the south pops up. When I flip it over, let's see. Huh, this is the north side and this is the south side. So this is the north side, what I've got down and the other side is the south side. Let's see what these are telling me. So that's north and that's south. So, so this one's north and this one's south. The left is north, right is south. So that's north, that's south. So I wanna match this side up to this side. Let's see if I can make this magnet stronger. It's interesting because it doesn't really connect like I thought it would. Both sides want to grab both sides of my bag. So I guess it is important to know the north and the south. But when I held the compass up to this side, it was north. And when I held the compass up to this side, it was south. When I put it right in the middle between them, it was north pointing to my right, or to your right, my left, and it was south pointing this direction. So now I'm gonna turn the magnet over so I can get the opposing side onto this side. And then I'm gonna kind of try to pull on it and see if I can strengthen it. I don't think I've made my bag any worse in terms of the magnetism but it's an interesting feeling. It's not grabbing it like I thought it would. It grabs it around the edges almost. Okay, let's see if that helped. I'm gonna put the thing in my pocket. I'm not sure. This may be a to be continued sort of thing. Okay, so if you look right here, see how the north is drawn to this side of the magnet? When I flip it over, the south is drawn. So that means this side on the inside south. So when I put it up against my bag, I don't know if you can see that there, but the north is touching the magnet. So that means since this side's the south, I need to touch it to the north and try to get that attraction to pull some more magnetism out of this side. And I may just not have gotten a strong enough magnet to do this with, because I don't feel it like grabbing onto other things, like the hardware on the sides, and maybe that's not magnetic. No, that's not magnetic. I haven't felt to try to grab onto anything though that I have. except for the magnets. It's funny because because of the part in the middle, it really only wants to grab around the edges, which it does have a pretty strong grasp. Okay, let's see if that's any better. No, I mean, it just pops open so easily still. I will tell you, it does stay closed at least. So I would say, boo on this. I'm not impressed. It does come packaged nicely. I'll give it that. Now I know how to do it. Maybe I just need to get a stronger one because someone said that that one didn't work to remove security sensors. And that's what these things are intended to do sometimes for people who, probably people who steal stuff or people who get home from the store and realize that the clerk forgot to remove the security sensor. But like I said, see it staying closed on its own and it was before I did this little failed test. I'm gonna return that magnet because it sucks and maybe try to get a stronger one. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think I can return the magnet. I think it's one of those items you can't return, but it was $10, so that's okay. I did get another one of the 26 and a half inch straps and I wanted to show it to you with this Longchamp extra small bag 
this bag didn't come with a strap. It was supposed to come with a small, short studded strap, which would only have been good for arm carry anyway. So this is actually a lot more functional and look how cute it looks with the studs. See, I mean, I'm not exactly dressed for this. I'm more dressed for this bag, but doesn't that look adorable on that chain? I just really love it. So that's it for the day, I think, unless I come up with something else to paste in here. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Sorry it wasn't more successful, but you know, now you can maybe try a stronger magnet. I'll link the one I was using below. And if you do some research and figure out which one's stronger, let me know. Okay guys, future Aaron here. I just wanted to let you know that I didn't make my bag any worse, but I didn't help it at all, I don't think. And so what I did is I went on Amazon and I ordered a stronger magnet. I'm not really sure how to tell on Amazon if the magnet is in fact stronger, but I went off of the reviews that people had and I believe the one I'm getting is substantially stronger, not only because of what people said, but also because of the warnings within the description of the item. The one I ordered actually says that you should handle it with gloves and that you should be extremely careful. And the reason for the gloves is that you can actually hurt your fingers with the magnet. And that's not just because of the risk of splintering. That's something to do with your hands. And I don't understand it. Maybe it's because your blood has iron in it. It's all sort of fascinating and scary to me at the same time, but this particular one got great reviews. People really like it. And I did go on to see if I could return the one I got and I can't, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just not as strong. And that's why I ordered it to begin with because I was a little bit scared of the stronger ones. I was hoping that this one would do the trick and it just isn't doing the trick. So I'm gonna try a stronger one. So there will be a part two to this. And now I know how to do it right in terms of finding the poles. It was not clear to me when I was holding the compass up how to discern which side was which until I actually turned it vertically and held it up and I saw the compass move like it did. So now I know how to do that part and I won't get it mixed up next time. And so, I will have that magnet on Sunday, so stay tuned for that. Hopefully, I'll have a successful project to share with you then. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel. I do want to remind you, don't forget to enter the giveaway. All you have to do is go to my community page and underneath the picture of the items that I'm giving away, I need you to comment with something that you like about my channel as well as your Instagram handle. I hope you have a fabulous day and I will talk to you again really soon. Bye.